Hey all Cy here. Well, I want to make this puzzle for grandchild number three, and it's a zebra. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to make that. So I thought it'd be really cool to make it with purple heart and this other neat wood, which I can't remember what it's called, but I really like it. And I thought that would look really nice together. And I think I'm gonna cut this zebra out similar to how I cut out when I made the zebras before, which is layering the pieces together and then cutting them out at the same time. Um, yeah, I think I'll try that. Okay, hot glue. And my hot glue gun is not doing so well. So let's see if I can make it work before the glue dries onto the board. Yeah. There. Yay. I cut the zebra pattern in half to fit on the boards. I'm really doing segmentation here, so if I had boards wide enough, I wouldn't have to cut the pattern. Unlike in Tarja, where each piece is cut separately. I used scroll saw tape, the stuff I got from Joe, and stuck the pattern to the wood. I made sure the blade was at 90 degrees, and you want to do that anyway, but since I was cutting two boards at the same time and I was swapping the pieces out, I wanted to really make sure it was 90 degrees. Once I removed the papers, I saw that I needed to switch the neck pieces. I think that looks much better. Well, I put the outer pieces back on. I had to dig through the garbage to find them. Th this line isn't straight here, so I added a piece to make this square and added a bottom. I cut those off so they're nice and straight. So now I have an outer part that can be where the puzzle pieces fit into. I felt stuck with what to do next with the puzzle, so I moved on to preparing the backer boards. My thought was to try to make two separate projects from the remaining zebra, meaning I would have made three zebras out of one pattern. I made one of the backer boards black and I made the other one pink. When they were dry, I placed my logo hanger and verse to the backs. On the back of the pink one, I put 1 Thessalonians 5.5. 5. It says, you are people who belong to the light and to the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. And on the back of the black one, I put Matthew 5.14. It says, you are the light that gives light to the world. A city that is built on a hill cannot be hidden. I used the wood burner to add the pupil and the nostril. I was hoping to use each wood color to make their own zebras, but when I separated them, they just didn't look right. So I decided to put them back together without the purple heart border of the wood. That way the pink backer surrounding it would show, and I liked that. So I sent the pieces and glued it to the backer while I talked to my dad on the phone. Then I put the sandbags over the top to hold stuff down. Once that was dry, I tack clothed it, put Danish oil on it. Then I went back to the puzzle. As I would burn the pupil and the nostrils on this one, and then sanded, some ideas of how to do this puzzle came to me. Since I had that black backer board, I put it all on that and glued the outer pieces to the backer. There is a hanger on the back of this, so I may take it off since this is a puzzle. I used sandbags and clamps this time. When those were dry, it was time to flip it over and dump out the pieces and paint the outer wood. Then I painted the back side of each purple piece black, and these pieces will be the removable pieces of the puzzle.
Gibbs is cold. Poor Gibbs, you're cold, huh? Gibbs warmed up nicely in my sweatshirt and so did I. I put it all together when the black dried and it looked pretty cool. But this is the back side, so I flipped it over. Then I put Danish oil on all of the pieces and Wally was hanging out with me in, in the carrier for a bit. Then I put all of the pieces into the puzzle frame. The final step was gluing all of the white or non-purple pieces to the backer. I had to be careful not to let any glue seep out and accidentally glue a purple piece to it. I could have removed the purple pieces while the white was drying, but I wanted to make sure everything was fitting properly together. The sandbags worked great again here. And I had to get a little creative with the clamps. A little excited happy jump for joy because it was almost done! And here is how it works. I did sand the edges of a few pieces so they would come out better. This is for grandchild number three, Ella. She is four and she should be able to put these pieces in just fine. Wally wanted to be up so he could see the puzzle, I think. I'm happy how the puzzle turned out. I like having only the purple pieces as the removable pieces. And I'm glad I didn't remove the hanger off the back because I tried hanging it on the wall and the pieces stayed in place. This will make it really easy to store. The other zebra didn't go as I expected, but I like it anyway. It really isn't intarsia, it's like mixed segmentation or whatever. They were both fun to make. So thanks for joining me everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!